Welcome to this new tutorial from Cloud and Containers. This tutorial we talk about Docker Swarm and Docker Orchestration. Now, as you would know, Docker a couple of years back made an esoteric Linux technology called containerization very simple and accessible to everyone. Today, it is a phenomenon in its own. Now, what the need of the hour is a orchestration technology now. Now, what does that mean? Now, we know that uh, using a Docker engine, you can create different containers on your Docker machine and run them together by linking them. Now, uh, but in an enterprise or in a large organization, you need many, many such containers to work together. It would be very difficult for an individual to go and set up all these containers on the different machines. That is where orchestration comes into picture. So it is uh, the ability to deploy complex multi-container apps on many machines in one go from one master node. So it requires a distributed platform which is independent from infrastructure and it stays online throughout the lifetime of your application, surviving hardware failures and software updates. And trust me, uh, once you go through the Swarm video and the orchestration hands-on, a video you would really believe and understand how powerful this technology is now earlier if we used to or if we had to orchestrate docker containers uh, you you would have uh, to use uh, technologies like kubernetes which is a google uh, technology so using kubernetes you could have different containers working together but the problem was that in itself google, uh, google kubernetes is very complex and hard to understand okay and then you also wanted to use some uh, uh, discovery tools, uh, service discovery tools like uh, HCD, uh, Console, and uh, Zookeeper and stuff like that. that. That made the entire ecosystem very complex. Now, in Docker 1.12, they have made containerization a part of their engine only. So the best way to orchestrate Docker is by using Docker Orchestrator or the orchestrator present within your Docker engine. It's very lightweight and it works like a charm. Uh, now this slide that you have here is obviously the slide that I talked about, which is Docker on Amazon Web Services. This is the end, this is the end result that we are going towards, learn Docker and then learn Amazon Web Services. Docker Compose is what was earlier known as Docker Fig, oh, sorry, what was earlier known as Fig, now it's known as Docker Compose. Now Fig uh, is the ability to code your um, docker containers um, so it's docker as a code uh, so now uh, that is it for this video uh, this was about swarm uh, so in the next video i will talk in depth about the technologies that are used in swarm and the technologies that make uh, orchestration using uh, docker swarm happen and in the video after that we would see an online demo of swarm or docker orchestration live uh, in action and, and you would really understand the power of orchestration once you see that uh, demo so thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, please uh, wait for the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.